Hello, my name is Natalie Thomas, historian and genealogist here at the Sandy Springs Slave Museum and African Art Gallery. We are located on Brook Road in historic Sandy Spring, Maryland. The community of Sandy Spring was founded in 1728 by Quakers who grew tobacco and corn on plantations that often relied on slave labor. Nearly a half a century later, an anti-slavery sentiment grew among the Quaker community. And beginning in 1790, enslaved people in this area were given their freedom. Those newly free people settled on the land that surrounds this museum, becoming the first free black settlement in Montgomery County. To highlight and honor that heritage, Dr. Winston Anderson founded the Sandy Springs Slave Museum and African Art Gallery in 1988. Here, you can not only learn about the many Black families and communities of Montgomery County, but also place them within the larger context of African and African-American history. The museum's Great Hall houses an extensive collection of historical artifacts and documents tracing Black heritage from their origins, enslavement, the Underground Railroad, Jim Crow, the struggle for civil rights, all leading to the accomplishments that Africans and African Americans have made in the building of America. Also on site are an African hut, a log cabin, a cross section of a clipper ship, as well as our newest exhibits, the Door of No Return in the African American Heritage Trail. The collection includes an extensive assortment of artwork reflecting the cultural and artistic achievements of the African diaspora. The museum serves as both a research and educational facility where people can immerse themselves in this rich history. Through programs, tours, and ongoing dialogue, we hope to reach reconciliation and healing with the past, enabling us to move proudly into the future. For more information on hours of operation, programs, and tours, visit our website at sandyspringslavemuseum.org.